the way we, we currently view cancer is from a sort of cell-centric germ theory-oriented point of view. And what I mean by that is we sort of think of cancer as aberrant cells uh, within the body um, and, and the things around them as well, their environment. But we don't really pay as much attention to what's uh, going on inside those cells. And there are um, you know, a few hundred or a couple thousand of these mitochondria inside uh, cancer cells and all other normal, almost all of the normal cells too. And these, these are what we call organelles. And these things, uh, we used to think, you know, for the last little while that they, they mainly generated energy, but we know now that they perform uh, many crucial signaling functions and productive functions of hormones and other things. And basically they probably, uh, to a large extent, coordinate what the cell does and how the cell operates. And um, there's a lot of evidence that cancer originates within these mitochondria. So I think we need to adopt a mitocentric perspective if we're going to make significant headway. And then in terms of this uh, sort of germ theory oriented perspective, um, what we typically view cancer as is some sort of a disease process. It, it's historical. Mm -hmm. We sort of see it as a disease and that we, we try to target it like we would a like a disease, like a bacterial disease or something with, we try to target and eliminate it, uh, the cancer cells with uh, medic uh, uh, treatments that are, are based on things like chemotherapy, radiation uh, therapy, and, and surgery, just removing them directly. And there are other ones, uh, but that's sort of the way we view it. And I think um, there's, a, there's a different way to look at things uh, that rather than a, a germ theory centric perspective, we can look at things from a terrain theory centric perspective. And a, a terrain theory perspective sort of looks at cancer as a problem of inherent dysfunction within the body. It's, it's not an infection from, you know, it's not really an infective thing. It's, uh, or it's not like an external agent that came in or an alien like thing that, that arose. It's, it's a part of the body that started going awry. And uh, maybe the best approach isn't to target and eliminate it uh, or not solely to do that, but perhaps to aim at a res uh, therapies that uh, restore the body and uh, can sort of maybe, uh, you know, rejuvenate from within kind of approach. Uh, and at the end of the day, this is where we're going to have to go if we want to make headway in cancer as well, because, uh, you know, people that get cancer got it for a reason. And you want to try and do more than just destroy or target and eliminate the current cancer. You want to heal the body to an extent where uh, recurrences and things aren't, aren't such an issue. So you want to think long term here. So I'm going to be talking about this sort of mitocentric uh, terrain theory approach to cancer, which I think is, is really needed to balance out the current cell centric uh, germ theory oriented perspectives that we use today.